Okay, well, it's raining like heck again today, so it's going to be a few days before we can get back in the fields and get tilling again. So I think we'll uh, catch up on a little uh, overdue maintenance. Um, a little 2920 here is uh, due for its first service oil change, hydraulic filters, and fluid change. Um, so we'll get started on that. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to take the bucket off. We'll see how much uh, room we got. Maybe we'll leave the bucket on. Okay, so we decided to leave the bucket on. We got plenty of room to get in there. Without it, we removed the uh, grill and the left and right side engine covers uh, so we can gain access to everything and get right in there. Uh, we've run the tractor and got it up to operating temperature. And now we're going to get a drain bucket and drain the oil. I did want to mention that we didn't uh, just rely on the hydraulics of the bucket to hold it up out of our way. Uh, we'll put a jack stand in there um, to help support the weight. Okay, we've got our drain bucket under the tractor now. And with a 17 millimeter wrench, we're going to loosen the uh, drain plug. Open the uh, oil fill cap to let the air in so the oil will come out. Okay, we've reinstalled the drain plug and come around now to the uh, left side of the tractor and the oil filter. Uh, we're going to grab a wrench uh, and remove the oil filter. The oil filter, the uh, O-ring actually stayed stuck on the engine block. I'll have to make sure we remove that. We put the new oil filter on with that still on there, we definitely have a leak. So I'm going to clean off the mating surface. I'm going to go and uh, get the correct oil filter. And we'll fill it with oil first. And put it on. Okay, we've uh, filled the oil filter with oil and we'll clean off the surface and spread a nice film of oil on the seal and this filter calls for uh, bringing it up till it's snug it just touches the block and then give it uh, three-fifths of a turn so we'll run it on the little gasket just makes contact and of the time. I like to mark the hours that it was changed at so we can uh, know what it is with a real quick glance. Uh, not this time. Now we'll move on to uh, filling up the oil and run it and check the oil. Okay, the oil fill is uh, right here in the front. We've already loosened it when we drained the oil right next to the injector pump here. So we'll remove that and install a nice clean funnel and add some oil. Okay, according to the service manual, this tractor takes uh, 3.7 US quarts. So just a little under a gallon. And we'll See where we are here. Get it close. Check it on the stick and run it. Let the filter fill up and check it again.
Okay, well, we've uh, topped it off, ran it, and gave it a few minutes to let everything run back down, and it looks like we're right there. Uh, this tractor's been run in the dust and dirt quite a bit, and uh, it's done a lot of mowing, it had the small bush hog on it, so I'm sure it'll be pretty dusty. So to remove the air filter, we're going to just pop it out of its housing clips, snap the two clips on the end, slide the cover off, and pull the filter out. And it's pretty dusty. We'll take it out and just blow it out. It's all grass and dust and comes out pretty easy. Uh, inside the housing is, um, is a secondary screen with a real fine mesh so nothing can get through that but we'll take this out and clean all all of the grass and dust okay this uh inner filter this fine screen mesh actually pulls right out and has a rubber seal on it so we can take that out and clean it and uh, we can get down inside the housing better and clean it all out it snaps right back in blow out the filter okay so the filter cleaned up pretty good you know, just blowing out the dust and so on but uh, I think I'll uh, stop and get a couple of new filters tomorrow at cans so that I have them on, on hand and I can change it again later uh, the cover goes on it has a mark top and a drain for any water gets into it or anything so these notches will drop right in place. And set right in tight. Snap the clips down. And snap it back in place.